morning guys welcome to today's video today we are out shopping for all the things we didn't get yesterday look how nice this is i'm going to show this to sam they have this one that's really light and fluffy and then they have this one that's like this big huge heavy duty dog bed and it's almost the same price so there is a big sale today at tractor supply they have a really nice dog bed on sale for $50. It's really nice. Daisy would love it. Sam's been looking for a dog bed for Daisy. But look, I found a plaid shirt that fits me. Blue, I don't think is my color. But I'm in love with this. Isn't it nice? It's like, you need one of these, Sam. It's perfect. It's better than this. Would fit you better. Look, you want bridal with a and for $89? You wear it to go out and do the chores. Don't you like it? I right. uh, love it. And go for red. Yeah, the old farmers use canes and camel prawns. This is a livestock paddle. Oh my gosh. That's not something we want. Stop. Stop. Yeah, wheels. so that's still on our list. One of I want these. One with wheels. That way you can wheel yeah, on the Yeah, we want one with wheels that you can put your three tier saddle rack stand. Look, this would look cute on honey. That would look cute on honey. We gotta start working on our costume. Anyways, look right over there is the dog bed. All right, so look, this is $49. And it is heavy duty and you can wash the cover. So nice. And then that one's like 42. Check that one. Which one's 42? That one, yeah, but lift it up. This little one? Yeah. It's kind of like... Awful. Yeah. And this is 49. And all of them could use it. But isn't it so nice? I love it. And a fidget advent calendar. A fidget advent calendar? Wow. That's like the same price as this dog bed. Which one's more use, more important? So what I was saying is that there's a big sale here today. There's like 15% off everything. So I'm looking for beet pulp for the goats. And Sam is looking for grass seed. Because if you can get stuff on sale, you should get it on sale. She wants that for her birthday. It's adorable. Oh, Sam feels bad for Daisy because Daisy's one of those horses, one of those dogs that loves comfort. Like you guys know, she won't go any place. It's not comfortable. Anyways, he made her crate really special for her, bought like a new blanket and covered it up. So it'd be nice and warm and cozy for her. And now he wants to get her a special bed for the living room because she's always sleeping on the couch, but now that it's cold out, she wants to sleep on the floor in front of all the heaters. Like we have a couple of fireplaces. So she's wanting to sleep on the floor in front of the fireplace. And he wants her to be comfortable. I like this one too. This one's nicer. It actually doesn't come apart for cleaning. So I think it would be stay look cleaner on the top because of the pattern, but it doesn't, it isn't washable. Dad wants something special for Daisy. That one comes open. He wants something special for her so that she can lay in front of the fire. He's getting the other one. Yeah, I like the other one. It's like a feather bed. Okay, so this area of our living room is where the Christmas tree is gonna go in just a short time. But it's quickly becoming where all of our animals stay. And I love that this house is bigger. We have room for like a bird, a cat, and now room for a dog bed. So in all of our bedrooms, our dogs sleep in our bedrooms with us. Ellie sleeps in my bed. Ruby has her own big, huge dog bed um, beside my dresser and she sleeps there. Molly has a dog bed in the basement with Gabby. And then Daisy sleeps in her crate at night and it's her choice. She, yeah, we she leave, doesn't go over my room. She, yeah, she won't. She likes her crate. So Sam made it really special for her, bought her a new blanket, made it really thick and covered it so it's nice and warm and cozy like a den. But like I said earlier, she wants to sleep in front of, in front of the fireplaces. Sam told her he was gonna get her her own dog bed <laughs> so she could sleep in front of the fire and we got one today. It was such a good deal, 50 bucks. And it's really nice. Carved plastic. It's like a duvet almost. Where is it going? Just throw it on the on there and we'll see. Ruby, don't harass the cat. We'll see who likes it. Wait, I want to sit on it.
Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. I thought it would be huge. It looks huge. Ruby's the biggest dog we have. Ruby's bed is huge. So the cat loves her little house that Sam and Sophie got her yesterday. Absolutely loves it. I have so many videos of her playing on it. She thinks it's the best thing in the world. Daisy does not seem to be loving her new bed. Put it in front of the fireplace and we'll see if that works. She also lays in front of the sun. Like the sun comes in here and she'll lay right here in the sun. She likes to be warm. She's a warm dog. <laughs> You're giving Ellie sign language. I know, I'm used That's to it. That's the sign for no. <laughs> Ellie apparently knows sign language. So this is Sam's favorite little fireplace. Oh, Molly didn't see it either. Molly, come on. Come on. <laughs> Molly likes it. It's small it though. It seems so huge. Put it right here in front of the fireplace. There, Daisy girl. That's for you. Don't let it touch the fireplace. So she'll lay here. Or she'll lay right here when this fireplace is going. This is the thought that counts. We'll see how it goes. It is cold and wet out today. Freezing. Sophie and I come out every day, about four times a day to check on the goats. <laughs> because goats are trouble. He just hears my voice and he comes running. And, oh. and all the others. And all the others. <laughs> Hi babes. I'm actually shocked that the goats are out. I was watching on the camera system that we just installed and none of them were down there. And I was like, what the heck? They're always away in the rain. Yes, we know you hate Ellie. <laughs> she hate, they hate her. He's looking pregnant. Yeah. Aw. Look at Mocha licking, licking the they, salt lick. Every horse loves that thing. I know, they love that one. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Isn't he so sweet though? Not as sweet as you, we know. Nobody's as sweet as you. And you're pretty sweet too. <laughs> These are Mocha's babies right here surrounding us. She has the best temperament and I can't wait to have her new babies. And then this little one, Rosie, is also really cute, but her mom is way more standoffish and she taught that to Rosie. Right, Rosie? So no matter how much we've tried to make her super friendly, like, like Blossom, who eats the feathers. Oh, I'm falling! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, no matter how much we try and make her friendly, she's just never gonna be super friendly. Right? But that's okay. You're really cute. Tilly? Yeah. Tilly's not. No, Rosie. Rosie and Tilly, but she is really cute and we love her. Lone man at the no. hay pancake. Aw. But I still walked a little bit before I called her. And Storm tried away. He was like, no, not. So quite. tell them what. We're being for Halloween. We're gonna be for Halloween. You're gonna be for Halloween. We should take her sugar treating. Yeah, we could. That would be so fun. But what are you gonna be for Halloween? Um, I'm gonna be a police officer and Honey's gonna be a prisoner. That's what we're aiming for. Everybody's eating my camera yeah, strap. We're all hungry. I don't know why. But look, she grew out of her baby yeah. stuff. Can you make it? Oh, can you make it bigger? The straps? Because that looks really tight. Stop biting me! It's not that. Tight. <laughs> She's really cute too. Anybody associated with Sophie is loving. Look at how cute. Oh, in your eye. <laughs> she wants to scratch me. <laughs> all right, I'm doing your main, Tony. Right, let's see. Can you so it kind of fits. It's, it's a little a, too short for her butt. No, I think it fits I her butt. Her Let me come around. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, Blossom doesn't. Work. I love them. Oh yes, it's a bit small for her butt. Do you have the strap? No, the strap is bad anyways. It was like too long. Yeah, but if you tucked it underneath her tail. So look at the more wet she gets, the more curly her hair gets. I know she's curly. I know. I can't believe she's a curly-haired horse. She takes after <laughs> me. My hair is curly. I swear to God, Ellie takes enjoyment in driving the goats crazy. All right, so I'm just gonna chill out in this 
barn. Honey. And hang out while Sophie does what she's gonna do with her baby. She's always doing stuff with her baby. These are my babies, all of them. People might not know that, but I love little things. And miniature goats are honestly the best thing ever. We're just gonna try on her winter blanket, which is actually the same size. Get Willow's blanket too, and we'll try that on. Willow's gonna be way too big. Willow's old blanket. I bet you it fits her. Oh, it fits still. She's a 30. See if it fits under her belly. All right, guys. Comment below. Who's your favorite goat? Is it Mr. Man here, Rocky? I wish we all got to name him. I would have named him Winston. I love the name Winston for a goat. Well, that's what I would have named him. He seems like a Winston to me, not like a Rocky. But we let Sam name him. Sam deserved to name him. He bought the goats. He wanted the goats. It was his choice to get the goats. Him and Scott got to talking about goats. And then when we left the lesson that day, Sam said, I'm getting goats on the weekend. It looks kind of small on her. It's a little small on her booty. A little small on her booty. Let me see if I have something that fits. That's going to be way too big. Yeah, it looks way too big. But let's try it. Perfect. It's way too big, Mom. <laughs> I don't think so. I think so. It fits her butt perfectly. No, it doesn't. Let's tighten it up and see what happens. So... There it is. It doesn't, fit. it doesn't fit perfectly, but she's definitely gonna grow into it and probably fit it this year. Um, we can look at the Royal for a new one, but every year we go to the Royal. Oh, it's too big. Yeah, but that's okay. It needs to be like this. Get rid of all this. Every time we go to the Royal, they never bring like pony blankets. We have a huge list of things that we have to get at the Royal. That last year we didn't really have that much to buy. This year, we actually have stuff to buy. We need a blanket for her. We need Western stuff, a whole bunch of Western stuff. I don't know what Gabby's got on her list. There's some Christmas presents that I want to buy for my granddaughters. My birthday's in five days. Yeah, Gabby, Sophie's birthday is in five days. You guys, honest to God, the best thing that ever happened to me, I'm not talking to, I mean, excluding kids, excluding kids and grandkids is this little puppy. I honestly had no idea that Yorkies were the way that they are, and I've heard so many bad things about them, and Ellie is nothing like that. She is like a bit territorial, but never in a bad way. She protects me with her life, but she's never mean or unkind, and when push comes to shove and something's happening, like she's getting shaved, she becomes submissive. She doesn't become aggressive. She's honestly been the best gift of life. The thing I, I've told you guys so many times, the thing that I love the best about her is that she comes everywhere with me. She just watches me and makes sure that she's always with me and I don't have to worry about her. And she uh, just having her with me is like I'm never alone in the world. Right, Els? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, this is boring. Let's go chase goats. <laughs> Sophie still has headache issues. It's hard for her to put her head down, so sometimes when we're doing stuff, she gets headaches and then she's done for a little while. Like, do, do they last all day? Most of the time, yeah. Yeah, and she, she doesn't take a lot of Tylenol and stuff like that. Is it like just a mild headache? Uh, right now it's bad. Yeah, she just gets them a lot. She's the only one in our family that gets headaches. Nobody else ever gets headaches. I've literally had headaches. I can count on one hand how many headaches I've had my entire life. I've never been plagued by them. It just sucks that she has that. True love. Well, that just happened. Whoa. That door. Oh, the door's closed. They literally just came in the other door and then went underneath the, the bench. Oh, that's why. They're getting into this hay, I bet ya. Don't you know that you're